What up, Mr. Diggs? Hey, Dougie. What are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about corals. Hey, torch corals. I want to talk about torch corals. Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about torch corals. Okay. So one of my favorite LPS Euphilia corals uh, of all time. Absolutely stunning, beautiful coral. It's got to be this here. This is torch coral, similar to hammer and kind of like frog spawn, but also very different. Uh, the Latin name for it, I think, is Euphilia glabarensis. So it's in the Euphilia family. And I'm just going to talk to you about some of the ways we keep it here and how, you know, tips and tricks for keeping this coral um, in your saltwater reef tank. Because the thing is just beautiful. So, first of all, LPS coral, uh, large polyp stony, and it comes in a variety of colors. So, this is a cool Indonesian orange tip green torch. Here's a white tip kind of purple looking one. This is a dragon soul, which is really nice. This has no name, but it's way nicer in person. It looks like a brown torch um, here on the camera as I'm recording it. It's actually really cool. It's yellowy, it's golden, it's got purple stripes, and it's got a very unusual blue tip. This one is bleached, so it looks kind of cool, but it's not actually uh, completely healthy. This one should be a deep purple, almost like him, with a green tip, and it's not healthy. So when you're looking for torch, you want to see deep, rich color, even though that looks pretty cool. Um, it is healthy, I guess. It's alive, it's open, it's growing. It's just the coral is bleached, so it's dropped some of that bacteria that actually gives it this color. We got one more up here, and I think I have a better example of him. So when you're buying torch, you want to see um, rich, deep color. Let me see if I have some examples here in our actual tanks. Yeah, so that one should look closer to this, like a deep purple. Um, something else to look out for, you always want to check the skeleton of the torch, just to make sure that it, see how it extends down nicely, and there's no recession or Kind of hard to see. Um, gaps. Um, that's a very healthy looking torch. That's perfect. There's no cracks. It looks really good. Um, the other thing to watch out for, there's one pest that each torch that I know of. It's this big ass flatworm. It's very hard to miss. But if you look around the base of a torch, or actually they also affect hammer and frog spawns, this, this same flatworm. It's like a euphilia eating flatworm. Um, it's quite large, but any good coral dip will knock it right off. They're very easy to deal with. It's not something to be overly concerned with. Um, so I think the key to keeping these things alive, in my experience, is flow. They really appreciate flow more than I would say um, hammers or frog spawns or other sort of LPS. So they want not direct current, indirect, medium to almost stronger current. Um, you want them like this, like they, the, to be happy, You they need to be a little bit more than medium flow so it takes a little bit of finesse you got to find that spot in your tank where they just do well so these guys are just they're just perfect you want the tentacles to always be moving you don't want them to get stagnant otherwise they can get a bacterial infection and they're going to die and you don't want it moving too fast otherwise the tentacles won't come out and you're going to blow um, the tentacles right off the body so this is about as fast as you want them to move this is pushing it this is dylan's tank so he's got pretty heavy flow directed at them. They do seem still pretty happy. This is a little bit more than I'd personally want. You kind of see how he's, um, his tentacles are blowing pretty strong, like away from the skeleton, but torch-like flow. And these things are growing and happy, so, so they can handle it. They do come out of the ocean um, with crazy current. So number one thing is flow. Second is light. I would say low to medium light. So in this tank, they're about halfway up. And this one, same thing. They're about um, closer to the bottom, actually. So the par is about, I want to say 150. If you got flow and light, um, the next key thing for torch, I would say, when we're looking at trace elements, is magnesium. Like most LPS corals, these guys consume quite a bit of magnesium. So if you don't know what your magnesium levels are at in your tank yet, I would definitely test those. Uh, I personally like the Aquaforest test kits. This one's also easy to use and quite good. This is from Salifert. And so if your magnesium is low, you just wanna go out and get a magnesium supplement. This stuff is great, ESV or Red Sea, or there's, there's a bunch of them on the market. It doesn't really matter which one you use, just a magnesium chloride supplement. And I like to keep my mag elevated. So most like test kits or brands will tell you 1300, 1350. For me, that's the bare minimum. I shoot for 1450 to 1500 
um, magnesium levels and I find that the LPS just love it and you're not going to hurt your tank by keeping it on the higher end of that scale. So I say 1500 is great. That's where we strive to keep all of our tanks and the LPS and the torch corals, they really appreciate it. Um, other than that placement, so torch corals are good with other torch corals, but they will kill anything else they touch. They're very aggressive. This is too close um, up here. I'm just asking for trouble. This is a nice red planet and he's like, that's yeah, stupid close. As the tentacles swing by, this guy's gonna get stung and I really should move him. The Kenya tree is over here. He's getting directly touched and almost looks as if he's bothering the torch and encroaching on him. But yeah, you gotta give them space because anything they touch, they're gonna kill except for other torches, which is cool because you can kind of do these gardens. And you can put them closer to other Euphilia species like frog spawn and hammer. I know if you read on a lot of forums, people say that they can't touch. Uh, I'm gonna say that's simply untrue. We keep our torches right next to our frog spawns like they're physically touching and they don't kill each other. It's fine, I have hammer here touching um, frog spawn and they don't kill each other either. So the stuff in that family, don't let the skeleton touch. Okay, so let me correct myself. The tentacles can touch and sweep against each other. They're not gonna hurt each other, but you don't want the actual skeletons of the coral to touch because then they're gonna sting each other and they're gonna kill each other. So I'm just gonna do a quick top down shot of that tank to show you what the spacing is like. Let me just turn off the flow on the Neros. So you can see here in the tank how we've placed them. Um, they're fairly close. They're all sweeping and touching each other. This guy's way too close to the Stellata. He's probably already starting to sting him. Um, and this one over here, this is the one that I was saying is really, really nice. You just can't see it from the side. Even now, like I, I think it looks good in the camera from top down. This thing is really, really special. It's so hard to actually capture the uh, true color of the corals with the camera. It's tricky. So yeah, he's way too close to this um, red planet here. So yeah, you want to give them some space, really aggressive. I've devoted this entire section, corner of the tank just to these guys. What else can I say about them? Salinity, so salt, I, uh, we shoot for 1.025 to 2.6 and you want to keep it as stable as possible. Um, torches don't like, well like most corals, they don't like fluctuations in salt. Our temperature is at 77, uh, 78 degrees. It's an easy coral in my opinion. There's not much to it. Once you've nailed uh, a good spot for the flow, it's an easy coral, glue it to the rock, and you don't really have to touch it. They're branching. I think there's only branching species of torch. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive they're, they're all branching, so they're quite easy to frag. And they're stunning, they're just beautiful. When the flow's on and they're moving, they're, they're just really, really nice corals. Um, I think that's it for torch corals today. If you got any questions about keeping these torches, or any corals in general, I love talking about this stuff. Maybe I'll do another one on flower pot, because these can be a little tricky for some people, but they're really, really nice. They're not as hard as everyone thinks. I think they get a bad rep online. This is really upsetting to me. I gotta share this. Okay, Duncan Coral. For me, it's gotta be like top three easiest LPS corals of all time. This son of a gun is not doing well and it's just deteriorating and it's so sad because I love the coral and it's weird because it'll open one day, it'll close another day, it'll be open for a week and close another week. It's not only this one, it's also this one. So it makes me think that Something in this tank has decided it likes to eat Duncan, but I don't know any pests. So maybe we just have like a rogue crab or fish that is eating it or something in the water, but I'm really not sure. Anyways, this video is about torch corals and not me talking about Duncans. But yeah, any questions at all, hit us up. We added some new fish. Maybe we'll do a vlog update later this week. Hi fishies, slowly rebuilding the fish population. Thanks for watching guys. I'll put our uh, phone number email, all that contact info as usual at the end of this video. We love talking about this stuff. Happy reefing. Sorry, one last side note. I just thought of it as I ended the video. Hammer coral. Um, just because I talked so much about torch coral, hammer coral is almost exactly the same as torch in every respect. Everything that I just said about torch applies to hammer. Um, in terms of care, the only difference I see is they like, or I find that they like uh, slightly less flow than torch corals. They don't, they're gonna close up under the same, usually under the same amount of flow. And the same goes for frog spawn or octospawn. But yeah, everything I just said about torch basically applies to those um, species of euphilia. Yeah, frog spawn, hammer torch. This is our nice hammer garden here. Okay, now the video's done, thanks.